It must be hard being from any other country that isn't Ireland. That's not because we think we live in a better country, because you ask any Irish person about Ireland and they'll say it's a bit of a kip. It's more so trying to understand us paddies. We have a phrase for almost every situation and it can be hard to keep up with them if you weren't raised on cottage pie and flat 7 up. But fear not world, gather round and listen up because I'm here to give you a lesson in Irish slang. The first one up is grand and it's something that I say maybe 50 to 100 times a day. As I said in the previous video, grand is a word that should be used to describe something no matter how good or bad it is. How was the fun fair? Grand. How was the funeral? Grand. It's also used as a form of okay. See, Irish people heard the word okay but decided, nah, we're not having that. So they come up with a different word for it, probably to piss the English off. Grand is the number one word anybody should learn when trying to communicate with an Irish person. Haven't a clue what the old lad sitting at the bar just mutter to you? Just say grand and you'll be on your merry way. Another one is what's the story, or sometimes you might use story horse, or if you're really adventurous, you'll say scale couple. What's the story is a question that shouldn't be responded to. It's a bit like how are you, without the sincerity of actually asking how you are. The only time a what's the story should be answered is if it's followed by something else. For example, what's the story with your man wearing the hat? At that point, you look at said man, then proceed to slag him, but that's something for another lesson. Sometimes what's the story gets shortened down to a simple story. So when asked any variant of this, don't stress yourself out with trying to tell us an actual story. We're only saying it to be polite. Now I know this is more advanced level stuff, so if you do get stuck, just revert back to the first entry and say grand. Let's say you travel to Ireland. It could be for the beautiful scenery, or it could be that you heard there's other beautiful scenery in the form of the women. Well, if you do find one of these creatures, then simply walk up to it and whisper, fancy a ride? This will activate mating motivation so powerful that in about 5 minutes you'll be having the ride or simply riding this majestic creature. Why this works scientists aren't entirely sure but you can be damn sure that calling the girl a ride is a surefire way of doing the devil's deed in record time. But I hear you say that's pretty quick for somebody to be allowed a ride and it is and it's because it's a special scenario. Not all females are like this but those that are lead me to one of my favourite sayings in Ireland. She didn't get those knees from praying. It's exactly what it says in the tin, but for those of you still in the dark or too innocent to realise, it's used to describe a girl who is fond of a good ride. I'll leave the rest to your imagination. I hope you've all been following and taking notes as we head into our last lesson of the day. One that catches many an uneducated tourist off guard. What I'm talking about is the phrase, I will yeah. Let me tell you this, I will yeah means absolutely no. So when you ask someone to take a romantic photo of you and your girlfriend over the river Liffey and they reply with, I will yeah, don't be surprised when they laugh and walk away. So that's the end of the lesson. Join us next time when we discuss Culchies, Sucking Diesel and the Jacks. If this helped you out in any way, hit the like button and subscribe for more lessons. These lessons are 100% accredited by the Society of Full-Time Mad Bastards. I have been Lenny and I'll see you next time.